Good morning, everybody. What's going on? So for today's agenda, we got a lot of things going on with real estate. I don't know what it is, but business has picked up like crazy. Matter of fact, we just got a counter offer last night. I need to call my client. We got to go over this counter offer and uh, let's see if we can make this deal happen. So the situation with this offer, uh, we wrote an offer for 330,000 with the EMD, which is earnest money deposit of $3,000. And the type of loan that they are getting, they are only putting $1,000 down. That's right, only $1,000. Appraisal contingency, 21 days. Loan contingencies, 23 days. We're asking for $9,900 towards closing costs. Yes, that's right. One thing I gotta take a look at, I'm gonna take a look at their counter. These guys are actually countering us to use their title company or escrow company. That's not a big deal for me, but I like to use my own title company. So that way it allows me to control the transaction. When it comes to real estate, you need to build that dream team. You gotta have your own title company, insurance company. You wanna have your own lender so that way you can control the deal. Inspection contingencies, 14 days. That's fine by me. I only asked for 10, they wanna give me 14, that's fine. Check this out. These guys are also giving us a repair of $1,000, which is, I didn't even ask for it. But if you're willing to give it to us, we're gonna take it. So let me call my client. Let me lock up this deal real quick. So we got my boy Newt in the background. It's actually a client, but now we're actually good friends. And uh, we are here at Cadence because he's purchasing a home. Also, he's a camera guy right now. <laughs> Let me ask you this. What are your thoughts so far about Cadence? Seems like it'll be a nice uh, little bedroom community. <laughs> Just your typical suburban. <laughs> Give me this camera. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What are your thoughts on Tesla? <laughs> yeah, what are your thoughts on Tesla? <laughs> too, much, too, much. too much insight. All right, so today we're actually here because my buddy uh, is about to go under contract on these uh, beautiful townhomes. We actually looked at a couple properties. We did the price per square foot. Didn't really make any sense, but what he's paying here, he's getting the value, the money worth. And also this builder right now, they are giving him... 2% of the base price towards closing costs, and we were able to get $10,000 of a price reduction and negotiate another $7,000, right, Newt? Yeah. Yeah, so we got a really great deal, so. It was amazing to watch you negotiate, too, very quickly and very to the point. We should have had that on camera. Oh, that would have been that good. That would have been awesome. But you know, I don't want to share all my oh, yeah, tips yeah, 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 and yeah, tricks. That's true, that's true. So if you guys need a real estate agent, give me a call. That's true. <laughs> all right, so we just got done with the contract with the client. We got the Boston model here. We also got the Chicago model. We did walk the Boston model because the upgrades that uh, we got are actually in the Boston model, but the floor plan is actually the Chicago model. So we're gonna go inside, we're gonna take a look. Also, I have done video home tours on this two models on our first channel. If I can remember, I'm gonna have a link in the description below, but let me show you what's going on here. All right, so this is actually the Chicago model. what do you think about this, Anu? Do you like it? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I just bought it. That's actually a good point. I mean, the noop is doing right now. We're gonna take a walk down here. Make sure that uh, the home that he's buying, he knows exactly where it's at. Because <laughs> the last thing we need to do is buy a home and he finds out that his home's over there. Now with these townhomes, you're gonna see, um, you know, they share a common wall. Oh, you smell that noop? Man, that smells good. So here it is right here, I think. We need to find out, so we're gonna take a look. Normally they'll mark it on the power box, what number uh, units they are. Here's 14, here's 13, here's 12 right here. This is it. Be careful, there's a lot of um, nails. Here it is. I'm putting together a deal right now for my clients on a home that we toured. And it was actually a four 
bedroom home, two bathrooms. But I noticed that the one of the bedrooms, they actually converted it from a garage to a bedroom. And on the MLS shows it's a four bedrooms, two full bath, and it's 1200 square feet. So with these uh, garage conversions, um, I went over to like the county records to see what was going on. And on the county, it states that it's only a three bedrooms, one full bath. It only shows 900 square feet. Now I need to reach on out to the agent to see if the permits actually have been pulled because sometimes the permits could be pulled, but it has not registered with the county. So these are the kind of things that you, do, you need to be aware of before even going under contract. So that way, you're not wasting time and also spending money on the appraisal, right? Because you can have appraisal go out, appraiser takes a look at it and they realize, hey, looks like there's a garage conversion here, but we can't appraise it because according to the county, permits have not been pulled. Now, some investors will do this to add value, right? With the square footage. Just keep in mind, this is something that you need to be aware of, especially when you're buying a home anywhere. All right, now I'm over here in uh, Summerlin on the uh, west side of the Las Vegas Valley. We're going over here to uh, Frankie's. And basically what this is, is a event and it's called Top Producer. So Top Producer or Real Producer. I don't want to say Top Producer, but it's Real Producer. I have no clue where York is at. So it looks like you got a couple of title reps, all real estate agents. Hi. It's been a long time. My old escrow officer. Hi. How's everything going? Good. How's everything going? Everything's good. Everything's good. He's the master of the TikTok. I know. Who is? You. I'm not on TikTok. You're a liar. I see you every day practically. Matter of fact, you guys probably can't even hear me, so I'm going to come on outside here. It is like so crowded inside. There's just way too much going on. It's just unbelievable. They can't even hear you anyway, but this is like really I've known this guy forever. From the beginning. Oh, you gotta wipe the back of the uh, check this out. We got Dallas up in the house. <laughs> what? 30? You're in deep water. Talking about it years ago. No. Yes, it's got a lot. My guys are telling me Dashley is QA. Doesn't matter. Follow my boy. 36,000 followers. Up and coming. All right, so this event was very successful. I was able to network with a bunch of other real estate agents and everybody in this industry. <laughs> and um, all right, we're off to the next one. We got a appointment with Closets of Las Vegas. Uh, we're doing some business with them as far as like collaborations and uh, stuff like that. All right, guys, so I'm here at uh, Closets Las Vegas. We're gonna be meeting up with Pat and also the owner of the company today uh, we have a contract that we are putting together they are purchasing a commercial spot for the LV home experts podcast every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time so that's one thing about uh, real estate social media marketing there's so many ways that you can actually affiliate market with other different companies and brand yourself with different companies so these guys right here they actually specialize in custom closets custom pantries um, closets inside your garage they do the epoxy floors they build out cabinets uh, they also do blinds too as well so check these guys out make sure to ask uh, for my girl Pat and uh, let her know that uh, you guys actually uh, seen this video and that's probably how you can get this discount so this is actually the floor show floor we did a couple things looks really nice I mean so as you can see they really do a lot of customizations here like the glass you know stop closing cabinets What's great about this company, these guys actually um, manufacture their own cabinets in-house. And what that means to you is that the cost is gonna be a lot lower. Look at this, you got LED strips, LED lights. How are my guys? How you doing, Pat? Oh yeah, you're already on camera. This is my girl right here, Pat. Why are you here already filming? No, well, we're not. This oh, is you're just vlog. kind of doing yeah, stuff. Yeah. How yeah. are you? I'm doing great. How's you're everything looking going? Good. I'll need you out. I'll need you out. So, so basically, all we're doing now is just we wanted to come by to uh, chat with Pat, kind of see what's going on, because I know the showroom is completely done, but we have everything ready to go. 
but we're not going to shoot today. Yeah. But I take it you're going to be the star. We'll do it. We'll go for it. Okay. Joe's, Joe's I'm not a guy who's going to. Um, I want to introduce you guys to Joe. I'm not a guy who's going to. Uh, Owner of the company. Do any... <laughs> Thanks. Good dude. I don't okay, want you ready? Mm -hmm. to, uh, oh, that's a cool closet. Okay. All right. No, I'll explain why we did it. Let's open the bottom one. Let's see it. Wow, look at that. That's fancy. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, Joe. Fancy, fancy. Why'd you do it? No, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll go over that when we do this. Oh, okay. Show. All right. So that's cool, right? No, it's great. Everybody I love it. Everybody told me we couldn't do it because we didn't have a way of getting it down, right? And I said, well, you know, I'm only six foot, and there's a lot of people smaller than I am and a lot of people taller, but I, I can't get that. Yeah. So I said, all right, I'll put a piece of leather up there, a leather string, let it drop. When this opens, the leather will drop, and then I'll pull it down like this, stick it on the shelf, and close the door, right? Yeah. To, to get it down like that. But then that, it's going to be hanging. It's kind of hard to do yeah. that that well, way. Well, well, yeah. I mean, be, if you can think of like your belt, and you yeah. can, like, stick it here, and then you close the door. And as you push it, the door closed, it's going to go back. Yeah. Anyways, that was my thought process. Mm -hmm. This is a lot better. Oh. Right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my point that I was trying to get across. Like, uh, I think that goes without saying. You, yeah. you make more this way. Okay, too. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Main thing. so then we look at this. I don't like this one. Yeah. And I'll tell you why I don't mm -hmm. like it. Uh, I don't like it because if babies or little kids yeah. are around. Oh, could hit it. And if they hit that, like they could hit that in the middle. Mm hmm. Yeah, and get knocked on their butt, right? Plus, we don't want them to But go it doesn't have to work out. So you can move it, actually, the sensor, right? Yeah. It, yeah, exactly right. I could put it up here. No, that's perfect. You know, I could put it in here, hidden away, so it doesn't ruin the. I like that. You know, the design. But we wanted to show oh, this isn't even the my way phone. that. That's my phone. But in hindsight, it was a bad idea because we don't we don't want people to not want it because oh yeah. no, my grandson, they're like me, my grandchildren, they would touch that and go yeah. boink. Yeah, I love the fact that uh, you can brush. move that. Great job on that. All right, so that was success. We picked up a new commercial spot. And these people right here, the owner, Joe, man, he's such a cool dude. So I can't wait to do tons of business with these people. All right, so Yorkie. No, it's not on TV. You don't want to do that YouTube channel? I think it'll be good. We already did two of them. Two of them? Yeah, we already did a couple. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I think it's going to be great when we do the, the micro stuff for uh, IG yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, that's the same thing. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Well, you because uh, talking to Joel, Joel gets you know, you're gonna be impatient. <laughs> I'm gonna be impatient. Nah. You know what? It's all about building relationships. So we're gonna hook them up. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. Now we gotta talk business. All right. Jorgis, tell me to turn it off. All right. Bye.